she looks scared. I look like I'm going on a vacation. I'm going to Malta with my friend. Even though we live in Amsterdam, we are flying from Eindhoven because Schiphol airport is not really reliable in Amsterdam anymore. So we decided that it would be just easier, a direct flight to Malta to go from Eindhoven. But this was when I thought that Eindhoven was close by. At first, I thought that I would cycle to the Sloterdijk station. Here is where I was planning to park my bike. I don't think that that would be a good idea. And leaving my bike outside in the rain and wind. So here is Rika waiting for me. So this is our train going to Maastricht that goes through uh, the central station of Eindhoven. <laughs> so we still have 13 minutes here. I got the Uber. <laughs> Apparently, there is a bus after all going to the airport. So, this means that we're gonna be at the airport in around half an hour. I basically checked the map and the beach that was closest to our place mm -hmm. and this is Baluta beach and we checked out some pictures and we liked it so first we are going to eat something and then I am going to swim This is my avocado salad and this is the risotto that Rika ordered. Yay. I was scrolling Wikipedia on the bus. Cool. So I found out some stuff. So this wall or the city gate is quite new. Mm -hmm. Apparently there were other gates before that were destroyed. I like this fountain there.
So we are coming back again when we are rested because now we cannot really appreciate the beauty. Anyway, this episode is about Malta. The outside world has heard about this place. It would probably be the Maltese dog. It's a spa, spa something. Yeah. It's <laughs> supposed to be a specialty food from here. Yeah. And it has ricotta cheese. We are still tired, so tired that we couldn't really leave our place even though it was really loud and we couldn't sleep. So now it's around 10 and we are going to Emdina, which is a former capital of Malta. And the nickname is Silent City, but silent not because people don't talk there, but because the cars are not allowed to go there. As we found out from time to learn geography now. Yeah, so we are waiting for the bus. 24. We got really tired in Emdina, even though we liked it, it was amazing. And then Rika suggested that we would visit like a small craft village and we went there, but there were only construction works, so we couldn't really see anything. And we got lost in the middle of nowhere, there were no buses going. It took us a really long time to find a way. And now I'm just gonna enjoy this and yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that we're going to see some other city because she's not as crazy about water as I am. So I'm just here to chill and swim and read a book and then probably she will join me here. Or we're gonna meet up somewhere else. We'll see how we feel and what the weather is like. How do I say good morning in Georgia? Dilam Shila Bisa. Dilam Shila So the transportation to come to the east part is not great. So mm -hmm. there's only one bus going from Valletta here. Mm -hmm. And then we had to walk again. We passed our stop and then oh, we took okay. another bus. So it took us two hours to get here. And now it takes us like half an hour more to, to reach the pool. Yeah. And the sun is quite harsh right now because it's 11. thing that I'm afraid of is that probably the water here is quite cold. Go 
go there, go there. Once you jump in, it should be okay. This place is so salty that you don't even need to swim, you just float. But it's cold though. <laughs> a fancy restaurant that Lika picked and she's waiting for me in Valletta right now. This is some kind of Sicilian specialty. Wonderful. Oh, I love this weather too. Yeah. Too cold, not too. Chilly and a bit windy, and it's, yeah, after this hot day that we spent in buses. <laughs> like I think in total we've been on the way for five hours. Like two hours when we were getting there, two hours coming back. Maybe we should come back again tomorrow. There is so much to see here on this island, mm -hmm. but somehow I just want to be in Valletta all the time. The thing is also today is the last day with the with this kind of weather, so there will be no wind tomorrow onwards, hopefully. So then we can take ferries and go to another island and see the blue lagoon. us two hours to get here from near Valletta. In the beginning we thought that we would take a ferry directly from Valletta but the best way is to take a bus to the most west side of the island and then there are lots of ferries going every, every half an hour to Comino which is the third largest uh, island. Whee! Dea is controlling the drone. This is the most famous beach on Malta, I think. You can see it because it's very crowded, but personally I don't really mind. and also it's very windy mm -hmm. and it was showing me all the time like oh it's windy be careful popping up on the screen <laughs> look at the color 